Hey y'all, welcome to Mimsy's Kitchen. Today, we're gonna make the easiest homemade biscuits. It is so simple, you're gonna go, what? In my bowl, I added, because I do about two batches at a time, because I freeze them, I've got about four cups of flour and the pinch of salt. All you're gonna do is pour in your heavy whipping cream and your buttermilk about half speed until you get a good sticky mixture. While you're doing this part, you need to take your cast iron skillets and put them in the oven or whatever you're going to bake in and let them be getting hot. They don't need any butter or anything like that. Just put them in there Put your oven on preheating at 350 degrees, and then we're gonna mix this. Super easy. I'm using my stove top today because my countertop behind me has canning jars all over it from where I was working on some canning. But I just stretch out some wax paper or parchment paper, whatever you wanna use, and some of the flour. I'm using self rising today. You can use bread flour. You can use all purpose flour. Um, self rising just seems to work best for me. I put for where my dough ball is gonna be and for me to grab from my hands. So let's get on back over here and I'm gonna show you. You're just pouring it in until you get a mixture. It is nothing measured, nothing hard. So there's a good little bit of Heavy whipping cream. Got my buttermilk from the dairy. They didn't have heavy whipping cream the day I went. So I'm just pouring it in. Kind of looks a little soupy. So we're going to see how it does. We may add a little flour if it's too much. But I just take a fork and stir it. You want it sticky, not crumbly. It'd be a little crumbly, but you know, you want it to be able to catch all the flour. I think I'm gonna put a couple more drops of buttermilk. It just seems a little bit dry to me. Just a little bit, not much at all. What this does with the heavy cream and the buttermilk is take away the need for shortening because you're using shortening for your fats anyway. So this is gonna work great. And you see it's a real sticky consistency. And it's a little bit of a messy job too. So when I make them, I make enough to freeze some. I hate having such a big mess all the time. So it's not something I wanna do every day. Some people do. All right, just pour out your glob. And you can see it's sticky, it's sticking to my bowl. And I'm gonna run some hot water in this and get my little glass that I use for cutting biscuit shape. Okay, you're gonna see I'm a cheapie. I just literally use a glass. Uh, you can have a biscuit cutter and or buy something, the glass works. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna show you. Clean hands and I just grab up some flour, rub it through my hands, start patting. Fold it, pat it. Make sure you got flour on your hands and on the dough because it is sticky. And you just work it. Just for a few minutes, I just fold it. The more you fold it, the flakier the layers are gonna be. You know, a good biscuit, you can pull it apart. I've been working on uh, a few fig preserves from my brother today, and he likes it on biscuits. <laughs> so, made me think I needed to make some more to put in the freezer. I've got a few, but mom likes a good biscuit. And this is an easy recipe a friend of mine gave me. She told me about just using heavy whipping cream and then I knew my mom liked buttermilk biscuits, so I was like, hmm, I'm just gonna do half and half and put a pinch of salt in there and see what happens, and it's great. 
so it doesn't take long. I could stop right now and uh, actually just kind of mash it out just a little thick, about a half inch maybe. And then I'm going to take my trusty glass, twist it around in some flour, and start cutting them out. And that is it. Whenever your oven is preheated and you've got your cast iron hot, you just put your biscuits in there and bake them for about 30 minutes. Um, you can bake them a little bit longer, but the longer you bake them, the drier they're going to be. Now, if they're going to be light colored on top, you can kick your oven over onto broil and watch it close to get it to the brownness you want. And you can also baste the top of these with a little buttermilk or butter to help them be golden brown. But basically, this is it simple as you want and you can see this one's already flaky it pulled right apart and I just keep going got one more spot right there probably that will hold one and then I just fold up do it again get it all because it's still sticky and I just mash it together start folding it out a little bit until I get it all gone. And I usually put about five biscuits per skillet. Now, I don't know if I'll have that many this time because I'm in such a hurry. I didn't really stretch it out as like I normally would, but I didn't want this video to be long. I wanted it to be short, simple, and show you how quick and how easy it is to make a homemade biscuit. And you can always take the last one and make a funny shaped one for the kids or whomever. Or you can work it and make it shaved right and cut it out. That is basically it. Okay, so my temperature is at 350 and I've taken my skillets out and I'm putting my biscuits in there. Um, you can put them all close together, but I'm going to be freezing these, so I'm just doing two separate little batches, and I'm putting five in each, and then I've got me a little dish of buttermilk, just a little bit, and a little baster, and I'm just going to brush over the top. You can use butter or an oil, but buttermilk works just as good, And since I already had that out and didn't want to take the time to melt the butter and all that jazz, this is all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to pop them back in the oven or into the oven for 30 minutes. And then clean up my mess. All this excess flour here, I don't waste that. I made sure there wasn't any little dough pieces in there. And I'm just going to scoop it back up and put it back into my flour bin. And then clean up what mess I have. Because you are going to make a little mess. But this saves so much trouble. Waste not, what not. Let's get these hot skillets back into the oven. Yeah, how many hours are that hot? and there we go don't those look good it's only been 30 minutes and they're lightly brown but they cooked all the way through so what I'm going to do is bump my oven up to broil and watch it for a couple minutes so once I put my oven on broil I just kind of watch it every 30 seconds to a minute it usually does not take longer than three minutes total to get a, a dark golden brown, which is what I like. Some people like them lighter. Some people like them darker. Um, that golden brown works for me. So um, that was it. That is how easy it is to make quick biscuits. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to show you the finished product, and then I'm out of here for the day. Fresh out of the oven. 
I'm gonna let these cool, then I will freeze them.